We will now restart proceedings. The question is that Amendment 8626.2, in the name of Liam Kerr, which seeks to amend the motion 8626 in the name of Mary McCallan, on delivering on climate change and the just transition be agreed. Members should cast their vote now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 8626.2 in the name of Liam Kerr is yes 47, no 61. The, uh, there were no abstentions and the amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that Amendment 8626.1 in the name of Sarah Boyack, which seeks to amend Motion 8626 in the name of Mary McCallan on delivering on climate change and the just, just transition be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. The Parliament is not agreed and therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their vote now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 8626.1 in the name of Sarah Boyack is yes, 16, no, 93. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The final question is that uh, motion 8626 in the name of Mary McAllen on delivering on climate change and the just transition be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed and we will now... Uh, move to a vote and members should cast the vote now.
The vote is now closed. I, 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 Christina McKelvey, point of order. No microphone. Uh, thank you, President. Officer, my uh, device will not connect to the server, and I would have voted yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McKelvey, and your vote will be recorded. The result of the vote on motion 8626 in the name of Mary McCallan is yes, 94, no, 0, abstain, uh, 16, and the motion is therefore agreed to. That concludes decision time. Point of order, Edward Mountain. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. During First Minister's questions today, the First Minister in, in reply to Jamie Halgrave Johnson's question about the Corran Ferry said, and I quote, it is our MOD, our ta Scottish taxpayers' money, of course, that helps fund the MOD, inferring there would be no cost if the MOD helped with the Corran Ferry. Um, members, I need to hear uh, Mr Mountain's point of order. Thank you. Just for clarification purposes, the MOD is charged to defend the United Kingdom and it, and it is budget for that. However, the request for assistance for the Corran Ferry ferry has been made through a military aid to the civil authorities request. My understanding is that MAC A assists civil authorities and it's up to the military to ascertain if the assets are available and fit for deployment. It is normally up to the civil authorities to cover the costs of these deployments in line with HM Treasury rules, through, though the MOD of course may defer costs. It is therefore unclear in this case whether the cost will be met by the Scottish Government or the Highland Council. Presiding officer, I raise the point of clarification for the First Minister because I believe he may have inadvertently misled the Parliament. If you don't like to um, hear the uh, point Mr. of order, Mountain, you can leave. M Mr Mountain, sorry. Inferring I, that the payment Mountain, is required. Could, could, sorry. sorry, please resume your seat for a second. Members, we have a member on the floor that member has the right to speak and the other people in the chamber don't speak when somebody else has got the floor. Mr Mountain, please continue. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I raised a clarification with you as the First Minister may have inadvertently misled the Parliament, inferring that no payment would be required if the MOD were, were deployed. I'd therefore be grateful if you could set out how the First Minister may correct the record if that is the case. Uh, I thank Mr Mountain for his uh, contribution. Uh, I would advise that that is not a point of order, it's not a matter for the Chair, and it, the process for correction of the record is well known to members, I believe, across the Chamber. Thank you. Um, point of order, Brian Whistle. Hey, very grateful, uh, Deputy Presiding Officer. During uh, a ministerial statement today, the Minister Lawrence Slater suggested that she applied for a, an exemption from the UK Parliament in 2021 and that the delay to the DRS scheme is because of that. I can inform the Chamber, uh, I checked this, that Ministers only received that formal request for a UKIM Act exclusion from the Scottish Government Deposit Return Scheme on the 6th of March 2023. And the, since then, the Scottish Government has been reviewing, it has now paused the scheme, so it has not been possible for the UK Government to fully assess the impacts of the exclusion request on cross-UK trade business and consumers. It is... Um, I, I seek your advice, uh, Deputy President Officer, because surely that is misleading Parliament. We all know it was done on the 6th of March 2023 and not 2021. And I think I would, I would ask if the, the Minister could come in and correct the record, please. I thank Mr Whittle for his contribution. That also is not a point of order, as it's not a matter for the Chair. And again, I would repeat that the mechanism by which uh, the record be, can be corrected is presumably also well known to Mr Whittle. Thank you. So what I would say is that concludes decision time and uh, there will be a short pause before we move on to the final item of business, which is a member's business debate. Thank you.